everyone, my name is Zane Carney and I am so excited to be doing Fender's Technique of the Week today. Today, we're gonna teach you how to play blues chord changes with a walking bass line. So why would we want to learn how to do a walking bass line with blues chord changes? Well, if I'm playing a solo gig, it'll help me to make it sound like a full band experience. Let's say I'm doing a duet gig with a singer. Well, now I can support them in a much more foundational way. Maybe I want to play a concert with a trombone player or a trumpet player, and I want to make it feel like there's drums and bass and guitar all happening with just my accompaniment. So this walking bass line thing is crucial for that. Another reason why we might want to learn these walking bass lines is because it's going to increase our dexterity on the guitar. Sort of like someone like Charlie Hunter or Tal Farlow, you know, when they have that separation, there's pretty much nothing they can't do on the guitar because they're able to separate all these wonderful lines of music happening simultaneously, right? So we love that. A third reason we want to learn how to do walking bass lines with blues chord changes is it'll lean us towards jazz. And the more we learn jazz as a guitar player, the more genres we can play. The more gigs we can do, the more people we can collaborate with and have fun with. Now, a quick little bit about myself before we dive into the technique. My name is Zane Carney. I have a jazz quartet album called Alter Ego that just came out last month. But before that jazz record came out, I had a rock band called Carney with my brother Reeve. I was touring with John Mayer and Johnny Lang playing blues music. I still have a band with Evan Rachel Wood called Evan and Zane. And we do these live orchestrations and... In all of these bands and collaborations I've done, my ability to do walking bass lines and chords and kind of be nimble, depending on if the drums dropped out, maybe the bass dropped out, but I can still pick up where people left off, or I can do duet stuff, like with Evan and Zane, and it feels like a full band experience. Well, that all came from using this technique that I'm gonna reveal to you right now. So, how are we gonna play blues chord changes with a walking bass line? Three things. One, we're gonna learn our guide tone chord shapes. Guide tones are generally the third and seventh of a chord and they give most of the information we need to know what the quality of the chord is. So we don't need a bass note. We just have these seven and third. And we know this is B flat dominant seven, okay? Then we play the third and seventh here. And we know it's the four chord. We don't even need the bass note. So we know one, four chord. There's, there's a blues four chord. There's our one chord. Now to extend things into the jazz realm, we're gonna learn this two chord as well. This is seven and three of the minor two chord, then the five chord, which we all know and love in blues, right? Five chord. So one, then we're gonna go to the six chord. This is the only really advanced thing we're doing. We're adding a six chord and then two five, okay? So all the chords you need to know today are these five voices I just showed you. Second, we're gonna learn a bass line. I'll teach you an exact one to play with me, okay? And then third, we're gonna slow everything down using the Fender Tune app, uh, the metronome, uh, portion of that app, slow it all down and combine them. So let's start with these guide tone chord shapes. I already showed you how to play them. You can rewind this video as need be, but let's play them on downbeats. One, two, three, four. Four chord. One, two, three, four. One chord. One, two, three. Give some space here for the walking bass line. Here's the four chord. Four, two, three. Give some space for the walking bass line. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Space for the walking bass line. Here's the two chord. Here's the four, uh, five chord, two, three. Here's the one, the six chord, the two chord, the five chord, and the one chord. So you're gonna repeat that maybe four or five times. Just get it in your body. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And I suggest using these fingers, the middle fingers, because this is gonna be our bass. You can use a pick or your thumb, but this is our bass, this is our chord, okay? So we got those chord shapes. Well, great, that's step one that we do that by itself. It's important to separate this, do it by itself. Now we do the walking bass line, this is step two. So we're gonna keep this same tempo and I want you to play exactly the bass line I'm showing you right now. You can use way hipper bass lines as you move forward in this technique. So here's a simple one. Two, three, four. I'm just arpeggiating and then adding a little bit of flair. Here's the arpeggiation, a little flair. Very simple bass line, blues bass line. Arpeggio, a little, little flare. Here's the two chord. Chromatic. Go back down the scale. Chromatic to the six. Chromatic to the two. Chromatic to the five. Great. So that's our bass line. That's step two. All we're going to do now is combine those two things. And I would suggest doing a tempo probably around 65 beats per minute. So let's go to 65 beats per minute in the Fender Tune app, and let's go and combine them both. Here we go. Two, three, 
Downbeat. Bass line. Downbeat four chord. Bass line. Downbeat one chord. Do our little flare. Just walk that bass. There we go. Here's our four chord. Walk that bass line. A lot of space for that walking bass line. Here comes our one chord. Walk that bass. We got the two chord coming out. Remember the two chord? Here it comes. Walk it up chromatically. Here comes our five chord. Here comes our one chord. Chromatic to the six. Chromatic to the two. Back to the five. Bam. And now you have learned the raw material you need to do a walking bass line over blues chord changes. Now there are a few hacks here. If you want to make it sound more syncopated and more like a real drummer's playing with you, don't just play downbeats. Syncopate. I'm hitting the alt beat, right? Another hack would be make the bass lines more chromatic. So these, there's all sorts of bass lines you can do. Um, and then eventually, as you combine this stuff and slow it down, and you start to realize, oh, I can use my thumb for the bass, I can use these fingers for the chords, you're gonna start playing stuff like I'm gonna play right now. Thank you so much for listening to this Fender Technique of the Week. I hope you got something out of this. Continue to learn by going to the Fender Play app or using the metronome in the Fender Tune app. I hope you guys enjoy my new jazz record, Alter Ego, now streaming everywhere. And I'll see y'all soon.